Hello everyone, my name is Pilar Cruz and I have the privilege to be the president of Cargill's global aqua nutrition business. Thank you for taking the time to attend the World Ocean Summit and this session with me today. We are here this week to tackle the hard questions around accelerating a sustainable ocean economy. And we have been challenged to focus on actions to drive this change. I'm super excited to share with you today for the very first time a significant action we have taken at Cargill to drive transformation in aquaculture's sustainability. A new initiative from Cargill called See Further Sustainability. First, for those of you who may not be familiar with Cargill, we are a privately held, family-owned global company based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And our teams, who number more than 160,000, work across 70 countries to fulfill our purpose to feed the world in a safe, responsible, and sustainable way. As a global integrated food company, Cargill has a unique perspective on where we have come from and where we are going as an industry and as partners in supplying the world's sustainable food. According to Cargill's research, the demand for protein is expected to rise by more than 70% over the next 30 years. Through 2026, global seafood consumption will grow at a rate of 1.7% per year, and due to consumer preferences for healthier and more sustainably sourced protein, will be the largest contributor to growth in animal protein consumption. Over the next five years, over 50% of seafood supply and nearly three quarters of supply growth will come from farmed seafood. And research shows that the vast majority of consumers believe sustainably sourced seafood is key to protecting our oceans. Wild catches of seafood will reach a limit for sustainable supply or will risk depleting the ocean. To meet the need for seafood, aquaculture must expand but aquaculture has to demonstrate it can grow sustainably. In order to contribute to a more sustainable global food system, the aquaculture industry must address impacts from origin to consumer. And here's what we are seeing. Retailers are making increasingly robust emission reduction commitments and partnering with suppliers who support these aims. Many farmers, especially salmon farmers, are committing to reducing their greenhouse gas emissions. And with feed contributing significantly to seafood farm emissions, feed producers can hold the key to supporting emission reductions throughout the value chain. Cargill's aquanutrition business is one of the largest aqua feed businesses in the world, producing feed for key species like salmon, shrimp, regional fish, and other marine species. As a leader and innovator in aquaculture feed, animal nutrition, and agriculture, we create higher quality feed solutions with a smaller impact on the planet. There are significant challenges and opportunities that our industries face, but we cannot address them unless the links in the value chain work together. To identify the medium to long-term direction we can take together, agreeing to common goals and other expectations. This is the foundation and the basis of our new initiative, See Further Sustainability. We are building an even better aqua nutrition business, a business that by 2030 will help salmon farmers reduce the environmental footprint of their fish by 30%, and by doing so, will help the industry save 2 billion kilograms of CO2 which is the equivalent of removing more than 400,000 cars from the road in one year. Together, we are charting a bold new path, making aquaculture better for our planet, working with our farmers to do more with less, and helping secure sustainable seafood for all people. To reach these goals, Sea Further focuses on three key areas. First, transforming our supply chains. Our feed is designed to minimize the environmental footprint of aquaculture. Working closely with our suppliers and customers, we are cultivating planet-friendly ingredients and identifying supply chain to help us achieve and exceed our shared sustainability targets. 
Second, doing more with less. We are creating innovative solutions that increase fish efficiency, maximizing production while reducing the impact on the planet. By creating products with a smaller environmental footprint, we are harnessing ingenuity to do more with less. And finally, safeguarding farmed fish. The health of farmed fish is fundamentally linked with the health of our planet's oceans. By developing targeted nutritional solutions that protect and promote the welfare of farmed fish, we reduce the use of resources and our impact on the ocean at large. For example, our Iwos dermic feed helps make it easier to maintain good skin health and fish welfare in salmon. Trials showed 40% faster wound healing on fish fed with Iwos dermic compared to other feeds. We can apply these concepts according to the best opportunities that we identify for an individual salmon farmer, recognizing that the needs for each customer can be very different. This will identify the best opportunity for each farmer, so together we will reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. By introducing this initiative across many farmers, we will scale up our overall impact to create a significant reduction of the overall farm seafood carbon footprint. First, let's talk about feed ingredients and sustainable supply chains. Raw materials deliver the nutrients that are required to be able to grow healthy fish. But different raw materials bring varied amounts of diverse nutrients to the feed. Plus, there can be variances in availability of those nutrients from the different ingredients. We then also have to consider the cost, scale, and the sustainability of the supply chains. As a global leader in aquanutrition, our goal is to utilize and provide a raw material basket that includes a wide range of sustainable raw materials, including novel ingredients like microalgae and insect meals. This means we are not dependent on individual sources, but rather we leverage a wide range of nutritional options that are healthy, sustainable, and nutritious. We work with strategic suppliers back to the origin of the raw materials and engage with a wide range of stakeholders to set goals and drive meaningful change. Our approach is aligned with the industry certifications like ASC, BAP, and Global Gap. In the North Sea, our biggest salmon market, Cargill Aqua Nutrition purchases soy in salmon feeds that is 100% Proterra, RTRS, or organic certified. One of our longest engagements has been with fish meal and oil, historically important ingredients in aquaculture feed. While our total use of marine ingredients has remained stable and our total feed production has grown, we have also worked with our suppliers to focus on developing sustainable fisheries and using trimming materials from catches designed for direct human consumption. Overfishing remains a risk, but our suppliers have worked hard to demonstrate sustainable management of their limited resources. Using these ingredients in our aquaculture feed has been demonstrated as a good use of these resources to grow healthy and nutritious fish for a global market. See further will drive transformational change by bringing our supplier engagement to a very different new level. We will look to partner with our suppliers to identify ways to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions associated with the production and processing of the raw materials we source from them. Working together, we will magnify the impact on these global important issues of climate change. This supports our work to meet Cargill's own Scope 3 greenhouse gas reduction goals, but it also helps us support our customers' goals of reducing their scope three greenhouse gas footprint. Feed must be formulated to meet the nutritional needs of the fish in the environment where they are farmed and the footprint of the total feed is a sum of all of the parts in the ingredients in the feed recipe, which is scaled on farm by how efficiently it is converted into the fish and ultimately the edible portions. 
this is how we are going to continue to use innovation to help our farmer customers do more with less. We are innovating solutions that increase fish efficiency, maximizing production, while reducing the impact on the planet. Beyond feed, here's what this looks like for our customers. Working with farmers to develop more sustainable farming practices. Recently, several projects in Norway, including one focused on improving fish performance, have helped reduce greenhouse gases equivalent to taking more than 7,500 cars off the road for one year. Using life cycle assessment or LCA data to calculate and reduce our carbon footprint through feed and fish performance. This uses a credible metric to demonstrate the magnitude of the changes we implement together. Dedicating innovation centers around the world that enable more than 100 scientists to develop the latest nutritional and technical knowledge and find solutions for local problems. Partnering with various organizations like Hatch, CBOS, and the Global Salmon Initiative, as well as the food and retail industries, suppliers, and even our competitors to advance and communicate understanding of seafood sustainability. When it comes to taking care of farm fish, the choices we make have far-reaching effects, so we ensure they are made mindfully. For instance, we only add antibiotics to aqua feed when they are specifically needed to combat disease in order to protect the future health of everyone on our planet. What it looks like in practicality, helping keep fish healthier. 23% of the salmon feed we sell specifically support better fish health and welfare. In addition, none of our salmon feed has added ethoxyquin. Designing feeds that promote healthy characteristics in fish, balancing sources and processing raw materials to also keep environmental contaminants like PCBs and dioxins far below the legal limits. Putting fish welfare first, developing new feeds to address specific welfare challenges like our EWOS Dermic product. No medicines are added to our feeds except under veterinary prescription to treat specific diseases. This really helps reducing the chance of resistance to medication developing, particularly a concern for antibiotics. At Cargill, we see that ocean stewardship is essential for a healthy planet. They are a place we grow food and a place we move food. To provide good stewardship, we strive to respect the oceans, focusing on balance and helping protect the entire ecosystem. With our global footprint and view across supply chains, we have an opportunity to protect our oceans, address climate impact, and move the ocean transportation and seafood industries to a more sustainable and bright future. Sea Further is our latest effort towards realizing these climate change commitments. By taking a collaborative and holistic approach, that's how Cargill will deliver on our purpose to nourish the world in a safe, responsible, and sustainable way. We are very proud of introducing Sea Further Sustainability as a way to drive meaningful, positive change. To learn more about Sea Further Sustainability, please visit cargill.com sustainability section. And thank you so much for your time and attention. I look forward to working together to see further sustainability and advancing our purpose to help the world thrive. Thank you.